our loving Father, God Almighty, attest Pastor Dill's ministry with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healings as great multitudes thronged to Jesus, praising Him, thanking Him, and loving Him, our Lord and Savior. Jesus loves you. Our Heavenly Father, God Almighty, loves you, loves us all. The Bible says, perfect love casts away all fear. Every fear and doubt and unbelief will go when you realize your Heavenly Father, God Almighty, loves you because of the blood of Jesus, because of the obedience of his only begotten son, Jesus, because of the sinless life Jesus had on this earth to take our sins away from us, every punishment away from us, every death curse he destroyed, every work of Satan and the authority of Satan Jesus destroyed. He rose from the dead, today ascended, sits at the right hand of the Father in all power in heaven and earth and over the defeated hell. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice as I come to you from our church at home with my dear precious wife Suhanti, our precious dear one and only daughter Divina, our church at home in UK and from King's Revival Church International UK, we humbly bring this word to everyone all around the world, all around the world. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Beloved ones, the word is Jesus. Holy Spirit takes the word from Jesus and gives to me to give to you and to all. The word is Jesus. 
The word became flesh, the Bible says. John 1, 1, John 1, 14. Rejoice, rejoice. He loves you, loves you, loves you. I come to the cross where Jesus shed his blood for me to save me. Even today, saving me, forgiving and cleansing me and every one of you whiter than snow. It's at the blood. It's at the cross. Come where all our sins are forgiven forever. And the Holy Spirit takes the word, the living word, and gives to me to give to you as the voice of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing in my hands I bring Simply to the cross I cling. Naked come to the fortress. Helpless come to the fortress. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Jesus loves you. All we need to ask Jesus. We may have so many needs in life, but one thing is needed. Ask him, Lord, I want your character. I want your nature. I want your divine resurrected power in me. Ask him. Jesus said, be holy as I am holy, be perfect as I am perfect, my Father is perfect, be merciful, Jesus said. That's all we need, everything else will be added unto us, added unto us. Matthew 6 verse 33, he loves you, loves you, loves you, no matter who you are, no matter from what faith or religion you are. Jesus, the Son of the living God, laid his life, his blood to save you and he rose from the dead to give you and me life, life until rapture with our child's generation, your children's generation or in whatever way you are. Beloved ones, come. It's all freely given, freely given along with Christ Jesus. The Bible says today, in Luke's Gospel, chapter 6, as we come to the Word of God, on a Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue. Luke's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 5, the Bible says, The Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. He is the Lord. He is the Lord of every day. He is the Lord of every moment in our lives. The Holy Bible says in Revelation 19, Verse 16 says, He is the Lord of lords and the King of kings. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Come to him no matter who you are. With loving arms he welcomes you like a father welcoming the child. Oh, and giving all his love to the child. Oh, Jesus is the Lord every day, every moment he is the Lord of our life. Come to him. There are things you try to do and you can't. The Holy Bible says, without him we can do nothing. In other words, if we do anything without him, it will be nothing after some time. It will be nothing after some time. Unless the Holy Spirit leads us, unless the Holy Spirit, he is the spirit of the resurrected Jesus, does it for us and does it through us, it's all his love, it's all his grace, it's all his power. He gives to us and he leads us. Unless he does it, everything else will be a failure. So every day hand over everything to him. Hand over your life, your body, your soul, your spirit, your home, your family, your future, your job, your earning, your whatever you need. Lord, you are my provider. Tell him. Tell him, you are Yehovah Ire, my provider, my life, Yehovah El Che, my victory, Yehovah Nizi. Everything is Jesus of Nazareth. He loves you.
He lives, Jesus said, because I live, you shall live also. Dear children of God, even today, he will do whatever you ask him in Jesus' name. The heavenly Father will give to you. Holy Spirit will take from Jesus and give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Oh, he is the Lord every moment when he is the Lord. There is divine protection. As the apple of his eye, he protects you, all of us. You don't have to fear. He went into a synagogue on a Sabbath day. And there he, the Bible says, was a man whose right hand was withered. Beloved ones, we have preached this many times, many times. Such miracles and healings have happened in our ministry. Many of you are aware of it. It's all in our magazines, recorded, documented, not just telling by mouth. Oh, people who have been paralyzed, unable to move their hands, born lame, have started to walk in our healing rallies held in many African nations, Europe, and many nations. My loving children, Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. He is there for you. He is there for you. And even today, something great and good and miraculous will happen in your own life. Jesus loves you. Heavenly Father loves you. He saw a man whose right hand was withered. Right hand withered means generally right hand is the hand that is used much and more that carries the burdens, that lifts, that works, is the breadwinner. My loving children, if your right hand in your body is withered, you just can't do any work. You become a man, worthless, lifeless. You can't do anything. Withered means the right hand has no strength, no life, no blood flow. It's just a wasted piece of flesh hanging from your shoulder. You can't do anything. It has no life and it spoils the beauty of the entire body. My loving children, my great children, even in life, you're somewhere in your personal life, your soul or spirit, you may be feeling hopeless inside, unsuccessful in life, all your attempts in your workplace or your business could have failed. You may be wondering how to continue in life, financial pressure on top of that tension, stress that causes various complications in your immune systems, fear, your brain cells are disoriented everywhere in your breathing organs, in your blood flow, everything gets disoriented. My loving children, fear and panic. And what you eat, maybe you are not able to digest all kinds of pains and defects and all unwanted diseases. These are all defeated. These are all defeated. We are not going to go into detail of what Jesus defeated. We are going to rejoice in what he, he won victoriously on that cross when he died and rose from the dead, defeating Satan and death and disease and curse and all darkness. That's our joy. We are made glad through his works. We will triumph in the works of his hands. Psalm 92.4 Is Jesus your Lord? Is Jesus Christ your Lord in everything in life? Let him be the Lord. As you start the day, tell him, Jesus, my Lord, come, fill me. Wash me with your blood. Come, Father, Abba, Father, take hold of my life. Lead me. Holy Spirit, come. It doesn't take even one minute to say this. Say it as much as possible, as often as you can. Let him be the Lord of your life and my life and for all of us, our loving Savior, Jesus of Nazareth. Beloved ones, his, that man's life looked a worthless life, a wasted life. You may say, I have wasted my years. You may say, I have wasted my opportunities. You may feel so much 
regretting the defeated, defeated devil causes you to waste. And then he comes and tells you and makes you feel so regretful in your life, so depressive in your life. What can you do? You feel miserable. You feel, then you seek to various other things. Oh, the dirty, defeated devil, don't think about him. Don't think about him even. Don't even give him one second of your mind or your thought. He is defeated, crushed under the feet of Jesus. 1 Peter 3, 22, 1 John 3, 8, Galatians 3, 13 and 14. And Jesus has made you and me and all of us his flesh and bone. We belong to Jesus, which means whole of darkness, whole of hell is under our feet. Romans 16 verse 20, Psalm 91 verse 13. Rejoice, 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 my loving children. He loves you, loves you, loves you. He is here today to bless you. Every darkness is, is under our feet. When we make Jesus our Lord, our Savior, and say, Lord, I belong to you. Tell him today, now tell him, no matter what your troubles are, your life may look withered, a life without strength. Even your faith may be weak. You may say, Lord, I'm unable to believe. I'm unable to believe. I am full of doubts. I'm full of doubts. I'm full of scare. Today, 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 the great Holy Spirit is there. Now, now. Welcome him. Ask him to come. Don't wait for the final prayer. No, now the word of God is life. The word of God is healing. The word of God is cleansing. The word of God is salvation. Receive now. The word of God is life. He is bringing you life to your soul, your spirit, your body, your heart valves, your blood cells, your lungs, your liver, your pancreas, your bones, your nerves, your immune systems, oh, your brain cells everywhere receives life. Everything that was withered, withered, even your soul, maybe in sin, maybe in addiction, maybe in fear. Don't be troubled. He loves you, loves you, loves you with no condemnation, no condemnation. He is the Lord of our life. You can rest in him and rejoice in him and you will receive every victory needed now and forever until rapture and eternal. Well, money cannot do it, people cannot do it, so friends cannot do it, show and silver and gold and fashion cannot do it. It's the blood of Jesus. He died, he rose from the dead and said, all hail. What does that mean? All hail means live, everyone live everywhere. There will be life in your spirit, soul and body. Oh, Matthew 28, verse 9, your life may look withered, your life may look that you have wasted it, but today, new life is going to rise up within you. New joy, new peace, new hope, a new future. Rejoice, children, rejoice. He loves you, loves you, loves you. When I was a couple of years ago in Australia, in a lovely church, a dear man of God, uh, was holding miracle healing services and he had invited me to minister and there was a boy I didn't know only during the testimony time I knew he was standing at the door and welcoming people that was his service it's not that you should stand and preach and do all that's also service but this is also service all he does is to stand and welcome people into the house of God by all the time standing and doing things, his legs became weak. He couldn't stand now for much long. He had been doing this for quite some years, faithfully, faithfully. That was his joy. My loving children, whatever you do to the house of God, you have done it unto Jesus himself. He is the head of the house of God. He loves you. There came a time he couldn't stand, he, he will fall down. So he went to a doctor and they prescribed some medications and it didn't improve. All this I came to know only during the testimony time. Then they had fixed a major surgery in his knees, in his thighs and his knees, a major surgery. And he had been booked in for a particular day. Then he saw this flyer, 
notice, miracle healing rally and I was ministering. So he just got permission to be there and postponed the surgery, postponed the operation for another two days. He wanted to be there in church and just do whatever possible or just sit and receive the word of God, the living, living, living word of God in the power of the Holy Spirit, all in the love of Jesus, love of Jesus. Lo and behold, the Holy Spirit told me there is a man like this and Jesus is healing you right now. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know where he was seated. I didn't know anything about him. But the great Holy Spirit knew his name and he gave me his name. So I pronounced his name. I called out his name. Then during the testimony time, beloved ones, he came. He told, this is what, how I was. And today, now, he bent down, he moved his legs, swung his legs, he ran around that church auditorium. People were rejoicing, applauding. He said, I thought my life was a waste and no more could I be able to stand and do what I love to do. But Jesus healed me then and there. Oh, beloved, he called off his surgery and he had no need of anything. When Jesus does it for you and me by his love, by his love, by his Holy Spirit, nothing else is needed. But are you continuing to do what you have to do to the house of God, to Jesus, to Jesus? Continue in your faithfulness. Continue in your faithfulness. Oh, my loving children, whatever that has withered, maybe your faith has withered, maybe your joy has withered, maybe your hope has withered, means no life, no strength. It, you feel it's all wasted. No, today your heavenly Father is by your side. Maybe you say, Lord, I, I don't earn enough. I don't earn enough. My loving children, my loving children, he loves you, loves you, loves you, is there for you. He will never leave you, never forsake you. Jesus said, I will never leave you, never forsake you. I am with you always, even until rapture and eternal forever. Such a loving Savior, such a loving Lord we have. Why do you wait for some prophetic word? Why do you wait for some apostolic word or some apostle, some prophet? They're all nice, good people, some teacher, some pastor, some evangelists. They're all good people, but the greatest one is Jesus of Nazareth. Come to him today. This word comes as his voice to the world with his word. Come to the living Savior. He lives. We shall live also. How many miracles, healings have happened in our ministry in Dubai, in UAE, in Middle East, and worldwide. Multitude is all documented. At, at, there was a time when one or two great men of God, they said, Pastor Dill, your ministry from Middle East carries almost the highest number of healings and miracles worldwide because they travel everywhere. You know, every week, every week, every service, every main service, immediately he wipes the tears, not for show, not for money, not for money. Oh, none of our magazines ask money. None of our television programs ask money. My loving children, you should know from where you have been taken. Oh, continue to be with us. Continue. We have greater works to do until rapture and eternal. Oh, my loving children, with utmost faithfulness, what, my beloved, what we have gone through in ministry, you don't know. You hardly know anything. You only see me rejoicing on the stage and my precious great family, my dear wife and our daughter, Divina. Oh, beloved, and all you great people. Dear beloved ones, what as a family, my loving children, how the Lord used us and still is going to use us more until rapture and eternal. We are nothing. We are nothing. Greater works, still, still more to go. So be faithful, be loyal. I, we have moved to UK to do greater works, listening to the voice of Jesus. Oh, we are there with you as your father forever. In Christ Jesus, father in Christ Jesus. 
But Lord Jesus is your Lord, he is your God. Come to him, come to him. My loving children, he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. He is here today. Every organ will be today healed. Your womb may be withered. Your heart may be withered. Your brain cells, your blood, your kidneys may be withered. Jesus will heal. Jesus will heal. I have been praying for you for 38 years. Many of you, you don't even know that. You don't even know that. There is the deep secret with much love of Jesus and tears. I remember you in prayer even now. All you dear ones, be faithful to the church. Be faithful and honorable to the church. King's Revival Church International, Dubai, UAE. Revival came to Middle East through this ministry and spread everywhere. God bless every ministry. Jesus bless every servant. Let us be faithful to him, honorable in everything. Oh, he loves you, loves you, loves you, bearing the burdens of others. Jesus saw him and told him, rise, stand forth in the midst. This was a man who was thinking his life is in shame. His life is put to shame. What can I do? No one knew his tears. No one knew his pain. No one knew what he was going through. That's, that is how the world is. If you have money and show, they will come to you and want to know. But you have nothing. How many precious, precious servants of God are there all over the world? In India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, in Africa, many nations, many parts of Europe, humble servants of God. And God is doing great things through them. Do you know that? Just because they are not in television or in show and all kinds of fashion. Oh, these are the, the day will come. Rapture will decide who is faithful to Jesus. So let us be me, you all be faithful, honorable, humble. It's like a child, like a child, like a child. Oh, he loves you, love like a child, innocent, innocent, innocent. Don't be intelligent, don't be intelligent, learned people. Many of you are intelligent, great people, learned people who are holding good jobs. But let us be innocent, 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 like a child, all of us. He loves you. His blood is an innocent blood, holy blood of Jesus. He shed that holy blood to give us life. Come, come to the cross. He loves you, loves you, loves you. My dear children, Jesus said, stand forth in the midst. Even if everyone forgets you, Jesus will remember you. Even everyone looks away from you, Jesus will look at you. He wants to wipe your tears, your pain, your agony. He wants to lift you. He, in the midst of everyone, he told that man, rise, stand forth in the midst. My loving children, while once when I was in, in, in an African country, massive crowds, they make a small room near the, uh, uh, near the stage. And I was there, they put a television and I was, I'm able to see the crowds and what's happening. Suddenly I saw two people carrying a man. And then I found out, they said it's the father of that person and with another one, two persons, they were carrying him flat and bringing him into the grounds. As I saw him on TV, I asked the Lord with much love of Jesus, love of Jesus, to put him back on the feet, to praise you, to thank you. Lo and behold, after the gospel is preached and in the healing rally during the testimony time, that dear father was walking on the stage my loving children, today your bones will be healed, your nerves will be healed, your brain cells will be healed, your heart valves, your arteries, capillaries, your immune systems, your breathing organs will be healed, revived, nothing will be withered, your soul will receive life, your spirit everywhere, your child, your children, there is life today. He loves you, loves you, loves you. When he rose from the dead, he said, all hail. What does that mean? Everyone live. He is giving you. Life is Christ Jesus. Life is in Jesus' name. He loves you. Holy Spirit brings that life into all of us today. Jesus said, rise, stand forth. That man would have wondered what's happening, but he obeyed. 
That's the power of the word of God. That's the love in the word of God. That's, he didn't say, oh, all these days I didn't get up. Why I should get up? I, my life is put to shame. What can I do? No. When you come into the word of God, when you come into the compassion, compassion of Jesus, oh, you will just do what he says. He is full of love. He is full of love. He is full of grace. Jesus of Nazareth, even today and forever. He stood up. People would have wondered what he is asking this man to rise up. There would have been rich people. There would have been affluent people. There would have been learned people. There would have been intelligent people, scribes, Pharisees. Oh, but he didn't ask them to stand. But he asked this broken man to stand. If we think we are sufficient enough, we are in, we are in a very, very, very slippery place in our life. If ever we think what I do is right, what I think is right, and oh, I'm justified in what I'm doing, I'm right in what I'm doing, those who hear this, pass it on to anyone, please, with love, with love. If ever I think or you think, I'm right all the time. I'm sad to say we are wrong every time. That's what lifted David so much. That's what lifted Paul so much, Peter, so much, John. Every time they said, Lord, we are nothing, we are nothing. See, Lord, in us anything that is wrong, cleanse us, wash us. That's why the blood is there even today to cleanse us. He loves you, loves you, loves you with no condemnation. Never he condemns you. He is full of compassion. Holy Spirit comes right now. And Jesus and everyone looked and they, they were wanting to find fault with it. That's, we have gone through that many times in our ministry. 38 years, 30 years church ministry, pioneering the most loving and the most big church in Middle East and spreading everywhere with the love and the power of the Holy Spirit, not just words. Every word is confirmed with miracles and healings. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. How many of you sit and think back? Many have passed into other countries, gone to various nations. Oh, how many miracles, healings, testimonies, cancer, tumors vanished. Oh, lumps vanished. Recently we heard just before we came, a precious girl in Abu Dhabi was found, diagnosed with the dirty, defeated, uh, cancer disease in stage four or whatever and she had to stop work stop work and just make it to her home country just made it to her home country to be with her mother because she was practically the breadwinner and the doctors have said these are a few last weeks or so she so she just cancelled and ran to her mother to be with her mother oh she wrote to me and the great Holy Spirit brought the love of Jesus into my heart. I, uh, I just took the phone and I said, Child, just keep on praising Jesus for his blood and his resurrection. No matter what the doctors have said, we, we have an audacious faith in Christ Jesus. Praise him for the blood. Praise him for the resurrection. I said, you will live. She thanked me and went to her country after two months I received an email oh what a jubilant joy of victory for one month she kept on praising praising she was getting weaker and weaker and weaker unable to even move her body Praised Jesus, she remembered. Pastor Dill said, praise the Lord for his blood and his resurrection. She even said, Pastor, I took your magazines with me. I used to place them on my body and keep kept praising Jesus for his blood and resurrection. After a month, I decided to drag myself to the doctor. When I was kept in the ward, Lo and behold, within hours, I felt I am just strong as anyone as before. Suddenly, 
Suddenly, some strength and power came into my body, my spirit, soul. I just got up, moved my hands everywhere. The doctors were, were shocked. They put me back to sleep. I said, no, I can walk. They took me and checked me, not even a trace of that dirty, defeated cancer. Not even a trace of that defeated cancer. My beloved, she is rejoicing in her country and wants to stay there and to tell everyone Jesus Christ is alive and will get a job soon. See what the Lord can do. He is the Lord for the broken heart, for those who feel lost and forgotten. He is the Lord for such people. Oh, beloved, he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Remember, he loves you. My dear children of God, and as I told you about servants of God, this ministry of ours supports so many servants of God in these countries, humble, simple, unheard servants of God, and their families and their children. Remember that. We don't make a show of it. We don't publicize it. And we can't do all that. We should not do all that. My loving children, please be faithful in all manner of life to Jesus and his house. He loves you, loves you, loves you. They were waiting to find fault with Jesus if he heals, if he heals. But Jesus knows the pain and the agony. He told that man. And he told them, is it good to save life or just to lose it? They don't understand anything. If you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, you won't understand the love of Jesus. If you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, you won't understand the compassion of Jesus. He loves you. Jesus did not wait any longer. He told that man, stretch forth that hand. That man stretched forth. He didn't say, put your other hand on this hand. No, he said, stretch forth that hand. He's telling you the word of God is coming to the very place where you are wounded in life. The word of God is coming to that very place where you have doubts in your life. The word of God is coming to that very place where you are weak and heavy laden in your life. Maybe in your mind, your thoughts, your heart, your spirit, your body, your child, your children, anywhere. Word of God is coming to that place where you feel forgotten and forsaken. The word of God is coming to cheer you, to give you life, life, life. He said, stretch forth that hand, that particular hand, by the power of the word of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the love of Jesus, you can do it. Stretch forth your hand, stretch forth your heart, stretch forth. Jesus is sending you his love, his love, his power. He's risen today, he's risen forever. And that man stretched forth. Lo and behold, that hand became whole like the other hand. The withered hand became perfectly healed and whole like the other hand. What a joy, what a miracle. Why do you have to wait? Why do you have to wait for options and opinions? Today receive the word of God. Now tell you Jesus, Lord, I received this word to me, to my child, to my children, to my home, to my health, to my mind. Maybe you're having sleepless nights, sleepless nights, fears, unwanted dreams, bad dreams, dirty dreams. All will be washed away by the blood of Jesus. He forgives us and saves us. Ephesians 1, 7, Colossians 1, 14. Receive, 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 receive. He loves you. Don't wait for another moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. Receive your life, life, life. Probably you said, Lord, I don't feel like praising you. I don't feel like thanking you. I'm heavy laden. Jesus says, come to me, those who are heavy laden. And what did Jesus say? Rest in me. Take rest in me. Because he is the Lord. He is the Savior. He is the Mighty One. He will do it for you. He is your Father. Come. Don't hesitate. Come now. He is there for you. What happened then will happen to you now. He loves you. He loves you. We are going to give you two minutes. Two minutes.
to ask him, come Lord, come into my life, come into my spirit, come into my soul, come into my body. Don't ever say I am saved, I am born again, I am filled in the Holy Spirit. Wonderful, wonderful. But let us be filled over and over again. Let us be filled to overflow in our spirit, soul and body everywhere where our life was withered or wasted will be today given new life of peace, joy, comfort, hope, strength, victory, protection. Oh, you will be like Jesus on this earth, every one of us. Oh, your cup will overflow. Your cup will overflow. He will bless you beyond your imagination. Invite him, open your heart, your mind, everything. Don't ever say, I am saved already. Yes, you are saved. But are you filled? Are you overflowing in his love, in his compassion? As an innocent person, as an innocent person, no. Come on, let us be innocent, full of his love and mercy and purity and power and life, all of us, me, you, everyone. Oh, he loves you. The river is flowing now. Two minutes we give you. Two minutes. Invite him. Invite him. Tell him, Jesus, I need you. Holy Spirit, I need you. Abba, Father, I need you. Tell him. Tell him now. He loves you. Loves you. Loves you. Two minutes we give you in all humility. Thank you, Jesus. Something good is going to happen. We are going to take the Lord's table, the greatest of all. We are going to come as a family in oneness, oneness with Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, and take the Lord's table. And then the Holy Spirit will come upon you and give you life and life in abundance, long life, well satisfied with salvation. He's doing it for you. I humble myself and take this bread the symbol and memory of his holy body that was broken for a sinner like me and you and all of us. The night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you the body of Jesus broken for me and for all. And in like manner, he took the cup, gave thanks to the Father in heaven and gave it to the disciples and said, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament that is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you can in remembrance of me. And Jesus said, Henceforth, 
I will not drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom until that day when I drink it new with you with you in my father's kingdom until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom Thank you Lord thank you the blood of Jesus shed for me and and for all He loves you what a joy what a joy what a joy holy spirit is coming upon you as i ask the father god almighty above father in name of jesus of nazareth of a lord of a lord and savior you will receive all that you ever need overflowing even more than what to ask or imagine or believe the new faith is coming to you everything that was withered in your life wasted in your life today is washed away by the blood of jesus blood of jesus holy spirit is healing you everywhere your eyes your eyes are being healed healed thank you jesus thank you everywhere everywhere lumps and tumors and lumps and tumors and cysts are washed away by the blood of jesus thank you thank you boils uh, and skin ailments are washed out by the power of the holy spirit holy spirit is at work the power of god is at work in your body in your soul in your spirit every sin is forgiven washed away today today everywhere if the darkness is holding you the power of jesus is coming now the resurrected jesus and his power is loosening you loosening you from fear from doubt from unbelief from every form of sin or complacency or everything yes the holy spirit is loosening you you are free now to rejoice rejoice hallelujah everywhere he is healing your shoulders your arms your hands your bones your joints holy spirit is healing you yes your hand is healed healed whole move your hand move your neck move your head holy spirit is healing your spine your back your waist holy spirit is healing your your nervous system holy spirit is raising your immune systems holy spirit is healing your chest your lungs holy spirit is healing your nasal passage every defeat and headaches and panic and f- and fears every defeat and migraine headaches are going away thank you jesus every defeat and unwanted imaginary fears that do not exist jesus is washing it away fear not fear not he is there with you with you with you the mighty god of israel he loves you loves you loves you no matter who you are come receive life 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 in abundance in your spirit soul and body long life well satisfied with salvation yes victory victory in whatever you do the labor of your hands your job your business your finance everywhere yes your child your children holy spirit is loosening you loosening you lift your hand and receive your miracle lift your hand jesus told that man stretch forth that hand receive it receive it stretch forth your heart stretch forth your hand stretch forth your mouth and praise him praise him praise him praise him praise him praise him, praise him. for the blood and he is risen he is risen he lives he lives he lives he lives our lord lives and because jesus lives we shall live also he is healing you everywhere in your brain cells thank you jesus he is healing you in your blood in your blood in your blood every defeated diseases every defeated symptoms every defeated ailments every defeated pains are washed away by the power of the holy spirit thank you henry henry receive it drink receive it receive it receive receive it receive it martin receive it receive it receive it receive it thank you holy spirit thank you thank you thank you receive it whatever may be your disease your child your children receive lift your hands and receive lift your hearts and receive jesus said stretch forth that hand he is placing the miracle in your hand receive it receive it receive it holy spirit is doing it for you every throat pains mental agony mental pains emotional hurts are going away a joy a peace 
a victory, a triumph is filling you. The old depression is going away. The old wasted, wasted thoughts are going away. Receive, 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 receive everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Receive it everywhere. Stretch forth your hand and receive it, and receive it, and receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joys, joys. Receive it, child. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Jesus is healing. Jesus is loosening you. Jesus is giving life and life in abundance to you. Receive all of us, all of us. Oh, well satisfied, long life with our child and generation, your children and generation, or in whatever way you are. Receive, receive until rapture and eternal in heaven with Jesus. Yes, no more fear, no more death, no more curse, no more magic. So all are washed away, wasted, washed away, but withered now by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Spirit. Do not fear. You will live, you will live because Jesus lives. Thank you, thank you. He's healing all your organs everywhere, everywhere. In your everywhere, everywhere. He's, he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Peter, Peter, receive, 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 receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You, Lord, whatever, whoever you may be, just lift your hand and receive. He, he loves everyone. Everyone who comes to him receives life, life, life in abundance on this earth until rapture and eternal. Fear not, no more condemnation. Every sin is washed away. Yes, it's gone, it's gone. The blood of Jesus is risen, risen, risen. Receive your miracle, receive your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stephanie, Stephanie, receive, 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 receive. Juliet, Juliet, receive, 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 receive. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. No more tears, no more tears, no more tears. As a father holding you, he's holding you. Oh, comforting you, strengthening you with life in abundance from now, from now. Receive, receive, receive. Hallelujah. Thank Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. What a joy. You're not the same person again. No. It's done for you. The spirit, soul and body have received life. All of us, all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Check your body. Check your body. What you couldn't do, do it now. What you couldn't do, do it now. Move your hands. Rise and walk. Remove the crutches or bandages or wheelchairs. Rise and walk. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Joan, Joan, he loves you. Don't fear. Rise and walk. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kirti, Kirti, re receive it, receive it. So many names. Holy Spirit is giving. I don't know who you are. Holy Spirit knows. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Your home, your child, your children. Your finances, the labor of your hands, it's all being blessed right now with life, life, life. Oh, he loves you. Check your body, bend down and see, run, walk, check your eyes, check your ears. Wherever you had a defeated, defeated symptom or a defeated ailment or a defeated disease, check now, check now. Let your faith work, let your faith work. Do something you couldn't do. You won't have it at all. Send us the praise reports immediately. Send us the testimonies immediately. Praise reports. We will praise him and him alone. Even mental fear would have gone. Your doubts would have gone. Tensions would have gone. You feel rejoicing as a child in the arms of the Father, Almighty God. Send us your praise reports. Rejoicing reports, even your prayer requests. Your prayer requests, your pain, your agony, we will pray and still ask the Father in Jesus' name, praising the blood and praising the resurrection. You will receive life. He loves you, loves you, loves you. And now, dear ones, I'm going to say the benediction. The blessing is from the Father in heaven. Along with my dear precious wife, Swanti, our precious dear one and only daughter, Divina, we are going to ask the Heavenly Father to bless us all. He loves you, loves you, loves you. 
May the love of God, our Father, Abba, our Father, and the grace and the love and the mercy and the power of our resurrected Jesus and the great love and compassion and the life of God through his Holy Spirit be with us all, within us all, around us all, ahead of us all, in the rear of us all, upon us all, now and forever. And when Jesus comes in midday, while we practically, physically live on this earth, serving him faithfully, fearfully, fervently, fruitfully and fully, to be caught up in midday with our child and family, your children and family, or in whatever way you are, all of us with all his true children all over the world, billions, trillions, countless, 1 Thessalonians 4, 15, 17, 18, 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52, Philippians 1, 6, Ephesians 5, 25, 26, 27, Luke 10, 20, Philippians 3, 20, 3 John verse 2, 2 Timothy 4, 18, the Revelations 3, 7 to 12, and Malachi 3, 17, 18, and then in heaven in our Father's mansions with Jesus, John 14, 2, 3, with rewards, crowns, marriage supper of the Lamb, our families, our generations, forever and ever in New Jerusalem. Revelations 3, 7 to 12, John 14, 2, 3, forever and ever eternally with Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. See you again, see you again, see you again, always until rapture and eternal. Jesus loves you. One long year he'd been suffering for a neck pain. As the word of knowledge came, the pain that he had for a year, he could not stand for one hour. But this morning, he began to check himself and the pain is no more. This is what he can do. He couldn't do for one year. He couldn't do it for one year. You can do it like this. Uh, your neck and everything, sir. It was paining. Now it's not. Now it's not paining. You can be like this. For some time, like with me, until Jesus comes. <laughs> Hallelujah. One year. One year, Pastor. Heal today, this morning. Lift your hands, sir. Lift your hands, sir. And say thank you to Jesus. Thank you to Jesus. Thank you to Jesus.